Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to add silkscreen text to your printed circuit board. So silkscreen text is really useful because you can add useful information to help the testers for your board, to help designers, and to visually just see a number of things. Branding, there's a logo, there's the information that shows which way to connect things, system out, battery out. And also for your solder jumper, which, how many milliamps to expect if you solder this thing. Instructions for the design. It's, it's really cool. And here's the plus minus and all that. So we're going to add these just like how they have them on the design. Let's go ahead and place text. Hit tab on your keyboard and choose your layer. We want the top overlay layer. Why the top overlay layer? Because in the PCB stack up, this is the layer we use to really, um, for the silk screen. For the text height, I think I'll go with 40 mils. Hit tab. Click the pause button and then let's get going. Oh, and also hit tab again. I need to change the text. Right. This text says battery in or bat in. I'm going to be kind of lazy and just type in bat in dash arrow. And I noticed that it's on the, um, hmm. It has a sort of wrapping going on here, which is strange. Okay, that's better, right? I don't know why it didn't show it that way, but anyhow, hit tab on your keyboard and type sys out. So bizarre. All right, let's right click end mode and let's get rid of these texts that we don't want. Move this in here, move this sys out to here or something like that. I can't really fit it. I mean, I could fit this in here, but I want to put something else there. Let's fit this over here. So this is nice. We can control C and you can also select a reference point. You know, or I'll control Z, put this text back. All right. I'll just add the text like I normally was doing. Now hit tab on your keyboard and we will put in prog. Hit enter. If I hit tab again, I can go back into my other window. Prog is right under this resistor. That's interesting. Notice that, or keep in mind that if you do place a part, it will cover the silkscreen text. You'll still be able to see prog under the resistor if you place the resistor, like if you solder it high enough above the text. But for surface mount devices, I don't put silkscreen text under the surface mount devices. Because as you can see, the surface mount device will cover up the silk screen. Bad for testing if you're looking at a schematic to refer to. So now for these jumpers, let's go with the plus and the minus. I like that. What else do we have here? Oh, six volt max. Nice notes here. I like these notes. Let's, ah, oh man. I can rotate, but can I pan? Let's click on the, what? Oh, pan with the right mouse button. Great. 100 milliamps, 500 milliamps. Let's do it. Now, to get to the next line, just do a control enter. Milliamp. Hit enter. Oops. Hit tab. Oh, let's try that again. Control enter. Milliamp here, hit enter, and then, oh, uh, okay. 
So it automatically gets me out of the, it automatically gets me back into placing it. I'm going to place this text right here. Hit tab. And then now we've got 500 milliamps we can do. I'll hit tab again and then place the, press the pause button. 500 milliamps. For this over here, we'll do a tab, 6 volts, 6V max. Hit tab. Place this here. That means I'm going to move this reference designator, reference designator SJ1. Where is a good place to move it? This is good enough. What I will do for this though is make it smaller. I don't think it's important enough to make big. Technically, I would make all of the reference designator text the same size, but I'll make it a little I'll make a little exception there. What else can we put on this board? Charging. All right, cool, cool. Plus and minus. Let's add char wait, wait a second, what? Okay, so across the top of the LED, we put useful information like charging. Hit tab. So the tester can know what the LEDs mean. Very smart. Tab. We can do plus, minus. Hit tab again. So in this situation, I want to rotate this text. Ah, we can hit the space bar. Click plus to get back in the mode. Space bar. Mm. This is interesting. Pin 1 is where this dot is. This little circle dot that indicates pin 1 for this connector. Pin 1 also happens to be ground. Let's go to this end. There we go. That's so valuable because I've seen printed circuit boards before and I review their schematics and I could, t I could not tell on the schematic which one is plus and which one is minus, positive or negative. Then on the PCB, it wouldn't indicate that either. <laughs> A real pain. Let's save this. What other things can we put on here? Oh, right. The moral of that story is the team inevitably flip, uh, put the power in backwards because of course it was not keyed and dead board. Well, actually, no, not dead board because the designer did put a, um, a reverse current diode to block the reverse current. And so it was protected. So not dead board, but dead system until they figured that out like a day later. Two days later, maybe. Very frustrating for people who test. Very frustrating. All right, spark fun. LiPo USB charger. Let's do it. Um, my company. Right. Rotate the text. Oh, this is weird. Huh. I wonder if this is a bug. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Okay, right click. You know, company logo, whatever you want to do. Now, the thing with company logos is you can place them, but I don't think mine get placed properly. So if you want to place a logo, you can just go to place object from file and make sure your logo is a PNG, a .png or a .bmp or something. Let's look at the bottom of the PCB. We also have V20. Ooh, interesting. So they put the V20 on the bottom there. Let's do that. That comes in handy when you want to just inspect the bottom of the board to understand which version or which layer you're working with too. You, there's so many useful things you can do. So let's put some text. 
But in this situation, hit tab. We'll call this VE21. And instead of top overlay, we'll choose the bottom layer. This is where we can etch the copper into the, etch the text into the copper. This looks good. Hit the plus sign. Oh, that's interesting here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I might put it. This needs to be mirrored. So hit tab and let's mirror this. Great. Okay, notice something here. If I do it like this, this is going to cut out the ground layer and there's this little sliver of ground that gets placed here. So these are called ground loops. And to eliminate that, we can just cut this off. So that they're all forced to go in this way. Ground loops happen in power systems too. They happen anywhere. Oh, there's a track here that needs to be routed. So control W and we're on the top layer. Yes. Finish that track. Cool. Control S to save. Let's look at the view in 3D by hitting the 3D by hitting the number three on your keyboard. Right. So you can change your view, uh, right mouse button to move things around while you're holding the shift key. Shift key, right mouse button. Notice this prog, see? The prog doesn't appear. See? Because the resistor is covering it. But sys out looks like it's decently far enough away from the connector. Um, battery in is good. The plus and minus, they're not covering the silk screen. They're not too close to the pads. The charging is visible. The LED one is not placed, not fitted, just like how we de design in the schematic. Go back to the 2D view by hitting number two on the keyboard. There we go. Finally, the last step I would say is to go edit, origin, set, zoom in, place it. You can place your origin on the lower left if you want, you know, it's up to you. You know, you can do edit, origin like this as well up to you view and fit board great